Hola, gringos y gringos, and welcome to Gringos R Us. Expats with a plan. We're going to take you through the museums of Dolores Hidalgo right after this. Welcome back. Before we get into this, I want to say thank you, all you people who sent those condolences. It was much appreciated. I really do. Um, from the bottom of my heart, want to say thank you for all of that. Um, not like one of these was it one of these tragic things. 85 years of a good life. And so we had a great celebration. Other than I had to go to Michigan in March, and it was like 20-some degrees and snowing, With so. No winter coat. No winter coat. We got rid of those. Yeah, no foul weather gear whatsoever. We all stood out there and, and froze, so. But thank you very much for that. Um, and I'm probably going to drop a video about traveling in Mexico at night since I had to leave here from San Miguel at 1 in the morning, so. Something to look forward to. And so let's get into the video for this week. Actually, we have two. We have a series of two videos on the Pueblo Magico of Dolores Hidalgo. Today's video is specifically about the history and the museums that we visited. You know, it's interesting. That may be, Dolores Hidalgo may be the largest Pueblo Magico that we've visited yet. I think it's bigger than Tequisqui upon, which was the biggest one. I think I'm you're just, right. I'm just saying from, right. from the size of the town and everything else, Dolores Hidalgo is not a Puebla like Amialco or Bernal. It's, it's a, a good sized city mm -hmm. and, it, and it is the birthplace of the independence of Mexico. So we're going to take you through three museums that we toured. I'm over the course of actually two different trips, so if you're going, you guys aren't wearing the same things, it's because we made two trips up to Dolores we Hidalgo. Did. We did. So um, it's very, very interesting. I love the vibe that we got out of Dolores yeah. Hidalgo, yeah. and we'll talk about that more when we do the fun stuff other than the museos. But, uh, no, it was, it's a great one, and we're gonna show it to you now. We left San Miguel de Allende for just a quick 30 minute drive up to get to Dolores Hidalgo. And that big statue right there, that's where you find the Dolores Hidalgo letters. And you better be good at Frogger. <laughs> Cause it's in the middle of a roundabout. There are some parking facilities and there is a good amount of street parking as well in central of Dolores Hidalgo. But you may struggle to find one of those spots on a Sunday afternoon. Yep. This is the Museo Casa de los Decidentes de Hidalgo. So basically, this is the family home of Miguel Hidalgo, generations of Hidalgos. And all these items are items that actually did belong to Miguel Hidalgo. A very interesting man, very multifaceted and credited with the beginning of the Mexican independence. Starting from the cry of Dolores, Grito del Dolores. Yep on September 16th, 1810. In a mass. After his mass, or during his during mass. During his mass. He sought to have equality for the indigenous people of Mexico. He was definitely a very progressive person. He was a good bit ahead of his time, to say the least. And he was a Catholic priest, but unlike a lot of Catholic priests, he was not practicing celibacy. And he actually fathered several children, which is why there are descendants of... Father Hildago, <laughs> in more than one sense of the word. This was a very interesting mosaic right beside the Bicentennial Museum that 
they really did a great job here of saying 200. It's very cool the way that 200 is just right in there. And I gotta tell you, I'm sorry, every time I saw a picture like this with the chains, all I could think of was Jacob Marley? Who? It's humbug, I tell you. It's a lot of Oh, that Jacob Marley. But inside the Bicentennial Museum, there are some stunning art on the walls, on the ceiling, and they happen to be also doing an art display. It's been a long time since I was in an art museum, so I really enjoyed looking at a lot of these pieces. Ooh, and this mural, it is two stories high. Yeah, you have to get all the way at the other end to even get a shot at it. They had a lot of historic photos. I believe these were basically all independence celebrations throughout the years. Yes. Yeah, we're a couple of knuckleheads. Well, if you're not having fun, what are you doing? Mr. Basul. Senor Basul. We have some of the people also responsible for the independence of Mexico. Well, that, that was Senora Ortiz, the one who is responsible for giving them the heads up. Now, this particular museum is in an old jail. Yes, it was. it's in the prison that one of, was one of the prisons that uh, Father Hidalgo freed about 80 to 90 prisoners. Should have left that one in there. There's a depiction of him letting them out, and from there is he took his little band of army and actually swelled to almost 100,000 people. From 80 prisoners to almost 100,000. But the artwork in this particular museum. What this particular display is showing is Calavera. This museum had some fantastic art, but a lot of it was very dark. Very, very dark. Very graphic, but very vivid. This is the old well, and it still has water in it, although I probably would not want to drink it. <laughs> you say old well, I think Chapel Hill. And so wasn't that fascinating? To be honest, I learned more on those trips through those museums about the history of Mexico than anywhere else so far in my life. Yeah, and, and a lot more going through there than, than what I've been able to glean from, from reading on the web and Wikipedia and other historical sites and everything else. Yeah, I got a lot more there than I did, you know, any place else. Well, we hope you enjoyed our tour of the history of Mexican independence in Dolores del Dago and the museums that we toured. Yeah, and we managed to do them on Sundays for both of them. And that good thing about that is on Sundays, the museums are free. Free. We did have to pay in one of them for uh, the right to record and, vid and, and do video and, and photos, photos. And, and that was a whopping 50 pesos. It was. So if you're not yet a subscriber, uh, we encourage you to please subscribe so you can become part of the Gringos R Us family and click that bell so you get notified about our new drops. They're coming out about twice a week. That's our plan. Sometimes they gotta get massaged a little bit, but that's the plan. We are Gringos R Us. x with a plan. Remember, we, we are, are doing, doing it. it. You can too. Hasta la próxima vez. Adios. And here's some more videos for you to watch right over here. <laughs>